And now, your KRCG 13 Storm Vision Forecast with Zach Evans. Well, severe thunderstorms packed a punch across mid-Missouri yesterday. The strong winds brought down power lines in the Apache Flats area. The storms moved through uh, between the later morning hours and about 1 o'clock. As many as uh, 3,200 Jefferson City customers lost power, according to Amron, Missouri's website. Even Pioneer Trail School was affected. There were no reports of injuries, which is always good news. And now all that rain has moved well to the east. We're waiting for a little bit of snow here in mid Missouri. We'll take a look now and see what's coming. You can see what's left of those storms as they still rage on. Snow is near Kansas City. That's going to try to pivot into our counties here in mid Missouri. The good news is the heaviest is going to be staying to our north. Not going to pick up a whole lot here in mid Missouri as our temperatures are still a bit too warm, but they are going to be falling throughout the days. They have the 20s in Kansas City. That is going to be passing to the east. Still in the 50s in St. Louis. Mid Missouri has 41 for the capital, 39 now at the lake. Those storms yesterday were because of an area of low pressure and a very strong cold front. Those are continuing to push towards the east and the northeast. The snow is wrapping around behind this low. Here's the timing of everything with the hour by hour forecast. It's been a little too pushy with that snow, bringing it into southern Missouri. I think it's mainly just going to affect the northern half of the state. Should all be out of here by the time we hit about three or four o'clock tonight. We'll just have a few leftover clouds as temperatures trail into the 20s. Going to be cold throughout the day on Thursday and actually very breezy both today and tomorrow. Temperatures struggling to make it into the 30s for Thursday afternoon. Another cold front is going to pass Thursday night. Could see some flurries from that. Temperatures downright brutal when you wake up on Friday in the single digits. As far as our accumulations for today, it's looking like half an inch for most of us south of Jefferson City. Not looking like anything, if at all. Folks in Sheridan and Randolph County may be able to pick up an inch with more for northern Missouri. Temperatures today are falling, so take this 35 with a grain of salt. Winds gusty from the northwest. Tonight we're down to 22, mostly cloudy. Here's a seven day forecast showing the next few days are going to be cold in the 20s and the 30s, but warmer temperatures are in store. That's coming for next week, though. By the time we hit Monday, we're in the 50s and we're dry each day. All right. We'll take it. Yep. Thanks, Zach. Yep.